so what else do I need to gather again? Where else can I go? Can I go into the center from here, or is that blocked off? Oh, 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 okay, 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 I might, okay, okay, okay. Yep, I'm freaking out a little bit. Yep, this is, this is what you came for, me freaking out. Um, I might need to quickly consult the walkthrough here, so... I got the hanger, I got the bulletproof vest. Um, leave the store, head under the dented shutter to the previous hall. Make your way to the midwestern part where the escalators to the subway are on your map. Enter the room on the north side of the hall. Okay, okay. So I guess, did I, did I get everything? Is there an item that I'm missing? I feel like there is. Um... Uh, no, I have everything that I can have up to this point, I guess. Let's try not to get hit by either the dog or the the closer. Again, closer doesn't really make much sense as a pronunciation for a thing. Doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. Go to the escalators, go to the escalators. Okay. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> you guys I have so many bullets from not shooting things. Killing enemies contributes to your results. The results? Oh, I wasn't really aiming. Okay, okay. You asked for it, I'm just gonna run away and stop wasting bullets. There's a bit of a hidden stamina mechanic, isn't there? Um, am I going the right way? I guess I- okay, yeah. <laughs> Some things that just don't like look like doors can sometimes be doors. This is a creepy room. I don't even know what kind of store this would be in a mall. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Sudden camera angle switch. That's right. That's broken. Um, anyway. This camera angle here. This is where we use the coat hanger. Believe it or not, we don't use this to, uh... Fetus delete us. No, we use this to, um, to pull a ladder. Although, <laughs> later on it will become a little clear that maybe there was a little symbolism, a little more symbolism going on with the, uh, <laughs> uh with the, uh, coat hanger. Could my brain please sometimes work? I'm telling you, just... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like there's something going on with my brain. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That's okay, I've made it this far in life. With this brain. Haven't I? Okay. Ugh. So here we get a bit of a silent one hill one easter egg. This scene is taken straight out of Silent Hill 1. That's Cheryl Mason in there. It's a neat little Easter egg. Do I need a save? I mean, there's no consequence for oversaving that I really care about. Like, I'm, I'm not good enough to do a two-save run of this game, so I don't care. And it doesn't use up any items, like in, Silent, like in Resident Evil, so I don't care. Gurneys in a mall. That is not normal. Believe it or not, that's not normal. Ugh, walnut. Even though I have played through this game, I'm uh, like sometimes these empty rooms like this kind of creep me out because I'm expecting a jump scare of some kind. <sighs> it's just the way I am, I guess. Gotta grab that walnut. I already grabbed the walnut. Stop. <laughs> okay. Yeah, radio going off. The radio noise is a lot more subtle in this game compared to 1, and I think also maybe 2. I don't know, in, in Silent Hill 1 it was just... Something like that. Alright, which one of these doors can I actually go... Oh, well, I mean that... Okay, I got hit. But I'll be okay, right? Heather, you be okay? You got, you got some purple blood on the floor. Purple blood. <sighs> that... 
another door that can potentially be unlocked. Can I just go? Okay. Okay. Consult the map. Consult the map. Consult the map. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I tell you, these guys are not the most capable monsters, but they still do kind of freak you out in close quarters. I mean, that's why they're called closers. Closers. Coffee's for closers. Like the, the, uh, the Fall Out Boy song. I've heard filet a duch, or however that's pronounced, a couple times. It doesn't really... I don't really remember that much about it, though, aside from the single I don't care. Which is great. One of my favorite Fall Out Boy songs, honestly. Like, I, can't, I can't believe people thought that was a sellout move back then. It's great. Really? There's nothing here I can do? I mean, there's a couple doors that... Eventually, I'll be able to unlock, but I guess that's not now. Maybe I have to go up the escalators? Probably could have saved that a little bit of time, not faffing around if I just... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill the closer. Closer. I'm gonna kill the closer. I haven't killed, I think, any enemies in this game yet. Got some weird-looking womanly legs there, closer. Closer. Closer? Well, I don't know. Is it... Where'd it go? I mean, it kind of retreated, I guess. Keep your... Keep the camera on the guy so that I can actually kill it. Get it until it's dead. I think it's dead. It's got a pool of blood, it's dead. That's the Silent Hill law. I think that also applies to Resident Evil, but... I mean, what, that's not the game I'm playing right now. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, good to kill that because I'm gonna have to come back through this area anyway and I don't want to have to deal with that. And I have plenty of ammo. Right? Watch, I'm gonna have like 16 bullets left. No, I have 80. <laughs> no, I have 71. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Up the escalator then. I am not an expert on the order of things in this game. I don't think there's anything beyond that. Yeah, it's... That's where I came from, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little disoriented. I go down here. Now yeah, those are escalators to nowhere, all right. That's... That is something. <laughs> These escalators do go somewhere, though. They go to hell. I guess by definition, the other ones go to hell as well. Ever heard of that video game about the uh, stairs that you just go down over and over again? I heard about that from Cat Icarus. Apparently it was viral in, like, the early, early 2010s. I, I, I didn't actually recognize a good chunk of the games he talked about in that video. Oi. Oi. Should probably let go of the L2 button so that I can actually see. What is this, barbecue dog? Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? That's some... There's something in the dog's stomach. Not the cooked key. Oh. I forgot that I was actually supposed to do that. Is this even the restaurant that I was in before? Probably not. Probably not. There's a little more. I think there might be some health drinks. Ampool? No. That's a first aid kit. Health drink. All that good stuff. Excuse me. Is that all I need? Um. So remind me, what is the key for in this case? It's the house key. We just have that by default. This key was in the barbecue dog at the restaurant. Yuck. So we can't really check what it is. Okay. I'm going to use the bathroom. I will be right back. And we're back. Oh, I thought this was going to be the way forward. Um, I guess not. I guess there is a little more ground to cover on this floor, so I was a little confused. I thought this was just going to be the only way forward. Uh, you were waiting for me. Oh, my God. Okay, dogs. <laughs> Just, uh, overstimulated. That is the name of the game, overstimulated. Probably shouldn't be playing horror games if I think I have ADHD, because that is definitely a symptom. Of course, I also might just be overreacting because of the video, but... I mean, you know. Was I in this one before? Was I already... No, I wasn't in this bathroom before. Is is this like with Silent Hill 2 where it's just going to try to jump scare me when I leave? I think it might be. 
Actually, no. I guess not. Oh. Really? Really, really, really. Okay, I think I gotta go in the middle then. I'm not consulting the walkthrough right now. Please, I wanna see where I'm going. Game, I wanna see where I'm going. So, the controller I'm using is a Retro Fighters PS1 slash PS2 control. Oh, yeah, that's right. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Shoot, where did I go then? That kind of that kind of limits a lot of my options. If I can't go through the restaurant and I can't go anywhere up there, that kind of limits where I can go. No, duh, you got a key that you can probably use on the level below. I don't know why I just had that brain fart. I mean, just using the bathroom, your memory just completely resets. But where does it go? There's this key. Oh, there were a couple different options for where this could go, I think. Was this, uh... What was this? Hello? This is new. This is also new. I think it's just an alternate way through here. Numbodies, 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 numb... Why did I go in here? That's... <laughs> asking for trouble doing that, mate. I mean, I can feel free to shoot these guys. Okay. Grab a health drink, at least. What are you looking at? You're looking at the enemy? You're looking at the enemy! Get through, get through, get through! Oh. Was this one of the locked doors that I made note of before? Yeah, it was. Well, that makes it easier to figure out where this goes. You're still dead. Thank you for being dead. Yep, here's the cooked key. Okay. Another restaurant? I think this is a restaurant. Very sanitary. Um... I have sustained more damage than I thought, huh? Let's do something about that. Yeah, just one health drink. I got- I'm loaded! Got the steel pipe. Now this... It's not our first melee weapon, because I think we also start with a knife, but this is definitely going to be more effective. Uh, I remember Silent Hill 2 when I played, and I just couldn't understand why I couldn't consistently get... James to do with the stronger overhead swipe, it's because of the pressure-sensitive buttons, which I guess the Xbox also had, in addition to the PS2. GameCube did not. GameCube didn't do that. In fact, I don't think Nintendo has ever done pressure-sensitive buttons, and I don't know if either Sony or Microsoft really kept up with that after the PS2 and Xbox. Maybe they did with the PS3 and Xbox 360. But then after that, they decided it's not really that important. I guess. And I kind of agree. Let's get out of this restaurant. Restaurants in a mall, they, that's not too... That's not too far-fetched. <sighs> okay, so where do I go from here? Reload a bit, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, again, here is where I start to get a little bit lost, but I think I'll figure it out. I found this. Okay, um... Odd changes in music. Some weird rooms. Is there nothing in here? Well, there's more to this. I forget what this is. Oh! <laughs> the words did not stay up long enough. Why don't I just grab detergent? That's right. Okay. Yeah, we do need that, don't we? Can I grab that, too? That looks like a brick. I guess not. Okay. Wasn't expecting to be able to go through here. I don't even know what these rooms are supposed to be or why they would be in a mall. But... You know, they, they do exist, all right. Oh, this room. So... Um, interesting thing about this part of the game. Going through here, I think there's a bit of a puzzle that doesn't appear on easy, but it does appear on, you know, normal and above. In, in terms of the riddle difficulty levels. We have these bats here. You can't go through these bats. Believe me, I have tried. So, what are we going to do about it? We got to clear the room a little bit. Because, but there's a vent fan, so it's pointless. Also, why did the text go away? I did not press any buttons to do that. So we need to be a little careful about this so that we don't choke ourselves to death mixing ammonia and bleach. To 
clear out these bats. We put these, put it in these, in this bucket for some reason. And then the fumes are going to get rid of the bats. It is a bit of an obtuse puzzle, and when I did my original attempt at recording this game, I was just utterly confused because I didn't have to do this on my previous playthrough where I was on the easy riddle level. And now I do. So now that's going to clear that out. We have to turn the fan back on so that we can actually go through here. Also, that's locked. Okay. A bit pointless, but okay. And now we won't choke to death on ammonia and bleach. And the bats are dead. <laughs> Easy as that, but if you don't know what the game expects you to do, it's really confusing. Um, we're excited. Me. Me. Yeah, I... <laughs> like, I was utterly confused trying to do that, and... It is probably better if you don't have to experience my extreme faffing. <laughs> don't worry, I'll faff in other parts of the game, I'm sure. There's probably pockets of the game that I'm just not familiar with due to having played the game on a lower difficulty. At least for the riddle level. I still did normal action because, you know, I'm a, I'm a big girl. I can do that. I can do normal action level games hard. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm not hardcore. I am not your strongest soldier, and I have a weak horror backbone. Of sorts. Uh, I don't understand why I'm able to watch the Saw movies, or the Final Destination movies, but that is... That is, you know, the breaks. Horror subjective, I guess. 